Hi, good morning everyone. This is Attorney Davis with Davis Legal Center giving you this week's Tip Tuesday. So um, I wanted to talk about something that a lot of my clients seem to be in these forms of situations in federal court. They come to me and they're like, Ms. Davis, I have a pending federal criminal case and um, you know, I also have an open pending state court case. What's gonna happen to me if I accept this plea here in federal court, will the time run concurrent? Um, and that presents a lot of issues. I think the first issue that we have to keep in mind is whether or not you started off in state court and was ridded into federal custody or whether or not you started off in federal custody, ridded back to state court. And the reason, and then went back to federal court to uh, tie up your case. Um, <clears throat> the reason why that's really where you have to start at is because whoever was the initiating jurisdiction that prompted the arrest uh, has primary custody over the person. And, um, you know, the Bureau of Pr Prisons, which BOP for short, will, if they follow their own rules, they will um, always abide by whoever the initiating jurisdiction is, as well as um, if you take a plea in federal court and then go back to state court to try to resolve a case, the way that the federal system sees it is that all state sentences run concurrent. And so that presents several issues with someone, if you can imagine, if they're trying to resolve both a state and a federal case. Um, our office can absolutely help you with that. If you are in that situation or if you have a loved one that's in that situation, um, the first thing we have to figure out is, again, who was the initiating jurisdiction? We may have to contact the Bureau of Prisons to see if they will designate the state, um, the state prison as a federal uh, holding system and give you credit, gain time for that. And then the last thing you could do, of course, would be file a motion in federal court requesting um, and a, requesting a recommendation that the Bureau of Prisons count that person's time in state court custody as gain time in federal court. So I know that was a whole lot, but I promise you, I'm, I'm hoping that that didn't go over anyone's head and I'm hoping that it can be beneficial for someone there. So if you or a loved one is in this situation, feel free to reach out to us for more information. Thank you. Bye.